Hello, it's Graham here at Tabletop Heroes. Hope you're well. I've had a few requests um, or a few inquiries about how I base my figures. And I thought I'm going to show you a quick and easy method I uh, employ using the ReadyBase product, which is obviously available on the website, www.tabletopheroes.co.uk. So first of all, let's show you what we're going to be basing today. So this is a Reaper uh, Eye Monster or Reaper Beholder that I've painted up. As you can see, finished painting the figure itself. Um, I've stuck a few skulls onto the base there. And then I trim the edge of my base with um, just a, an earth brown, obviously any colour that would suit. And I always paint just earth brown on the top there, nice and rough, just to cover up any bright white that might gleam through. So that's the fella that we're going to uh, apply a bit of uh, grassy base to today. And I'll show you the products that we're going to use. So first of all, the glue that we're going to use is uh, this item here. This is a fast drying basing glue. Uh, it's basically a PVA, but it's quite a good quality PVA. It's nice and tacky. And uh, when you're applying it to the base, you'll find it doesn't sort of retreat from the edge of the base too much. Uh, I'm not sure what the magic ingredient is that stops it doing that, but it, it works quite well and it does dry very quick and clear. Okay, so we're going to be using that. And the other product is the actual basing mix itself. So these are ready base, ready base. Um, bags each bag contains i don't know if you can see it in there this one is called uh patchy planes and this contains some flock and rock and grit and texture all in one bag so there's no mixing uh there that you need to do the whole product is ready to go okay i'll show you what i do with this because i'll take it out of the bag and i'll put mine into like a little lunch tub there you go. This one is uh, Mediterranean Earth that I use. It's quite a nice light one. I've, I like this one. Okay, and as you can see, there's a mixture of sand in there, a few little stones, and it's literally a case of going to be applying the glue and dipping the whole model in there. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of little things I do along the way. Okay, so put that to one side. I use a scabby old paintbrush for applying the glue. So even though I Manky old uh, paintbrushes have got got a little bit of a uh, use, and I usually put some of the glue in, into. This is a, obviously an old blister, but um, into something so I can sort of apply it to the base. Okay. So this isn't very technical, this, uh, but it seems to work for me. So what we're going to do is literally slap the glue directly onto the base around the skulls there and this uh, figure it's not a slotter figure it actually has a base on it so I'll make sure I put plenty of glue where the base of the figure meets the plastic base base of uh, the round base that I've glued it to okay um, so you can be nice and generous with this doesn't matter if you get it onto obviously these skulls because it's really only going to be the tops of them that are sticking out so hopefully when you look at the figure you'll sort of just about make out the fact that there are skulls of its victims scattered about and there you can go if I paint this on here you can see what I mean about this not retracting from the edge of the base uh, some of the thinner I assume it's to do with the amount of water in it some of the thinner PVAs will kind of pull back. So when you dip the figure in there to uh, apply the texture, it obviously leaves bare patches. Okay. Uh, this um, figure is one of the Reaper Bones Black range. So it's made from plastic, recycled plastic. But like a lot of the Reaper Bones now, the quality of it, the Reaper Bones Black, is a lot better than they used to be. And in fact, I would say comparable in cast and detail to metal figures, but for a fraction of the price. Uh, I think this one on my website uh, retails at under £6, I think. I'm pretty sure it's that sort of money. Might even be less. Uh, there you go, you can see this basing glue now going on there nice and thick so don't be afraid to 
be generous with it. I mean, obviously, once you've done this base, you're going to need to leave the figure. I normally leave them overnight to dry before I, I varnish them, just to make sure everything is dry. But it does dry a lot quicker than that. I have actually uh, done them in the morning, done the bases in the morning on some figures, and been varnishing them, finishing them off in the afternoon. So, and then plenty of glue, just slapping it on, nice and thick there onto the base itself trying not to get too much onto the tentacles or the optic tentacles of this beholder which is uh, not sure actually what I'm going to do with the figure I, I, I just like the sculpt so I figured I'd fancy painting it there we go just get it into all the little nooks and crannies and I'm being really generous around where the the figure itself meets, let's say, the plastic base. Okay, yeah, like that. Look at that. So there you go. As technical as that, slapping on a thick layer of this base glue, this this PVA type glue. Oh, okay. If you get like I just did there, some on the rim of the base, and you don't particularly want it there. Not a problem. Obviously, PVA is water based, so a bit of water on my finger and I'll wipe it off. There you go, that's gone. Okay, and then just I've still got some left in the palette, so let's slap it on. There, there you go. Right, I think that'll do. So we're giving everything a nice good glop of glue. And looks and crannies there. Okay, next non-technical bit. And you can see how quick this is. If you've got an army of figures to base up, this is really going to take you no time at all. So I'll get my lunch tub. Just give it a little shake around, make a little hollow in it. Literally, I'm going to stick the whole figure in there and cover it. Twist it around a little bit in there. Just give it a second to adhere. Tap it off. Okay, what you'll need to do... Oops. There you go. Just give that a few moments there. Move that back out of the way so I don't knock it off and cause a... Actually, let's put the lid on the uh, the lunch tub. Also, oh, downside of me using the lunch tub for this is I've got nothing to take my lunch anywhere in now. Right, so that's now on there. Let's get it up to the camera so you can see. So as you can see, this has got sort of a quite a sandy sort of finish to it, and you can see it's quite dusty where it's been dipped in. When it's dry, what I do, and you can see it brushes off quite easily. But when it's dry, what I'll do is um, just get a, a paintbrush, one of my wide paintbrushes, a stiff paintbrush, and just brush around, and it takes it all off of there. There you go, it comes off nice and easily. Okay, so that effectively, I mean, that's good enough now, I think, if you wanted to use that straight away. I wanted a little bit more grass on the base. So I don't know if you can see, if we look closely, let's see if I can get this up, so it focuses there. So if you look at the sand on the base now, you can see that the glue is starting to sort of soak through, to glean through, okay, which is what I want, because I'm going to do another extra little stage on this here. Let's pop it back down there. I wanted to make it just a touch grassier, and I've got uh, another lunch tub here with just some mixed flocking. And again, if you want to buy the, the flock static grass, then obviously available from the website or obviously major hobby suppliers but I prefer if you bought mine okay and all I'm going to do just to add a little bit of extra grass on there a bit of colour just going to grab a, a little pinch of it and kind of sprinkle it around a bit and obviously what it'll do is it'll stick to where that glue is gleaning through where it's starting to soak through I'm not covering it I don't want the whole base to be bright green so it looks like a 
like a lawn that he's on okay there so we've added just a little bit more grass to that base you can still see the earth showing through okay and again we're going to go another stage further here oh, i've got some of the self-adhesive tufts okay so this is static grass glued onto sort of self-adhesive little blobs okay what i'm going to do we'll apply a couple of those so i normally take them off the backing paper i've got a handy little pair of tweezers for this uh, i mean obviously you don't need tweezers you can do it with your fingers but um, uh, they are self-adhesive, so in fact you don't need to do what I'm going to do, but I prefer to, to just get an extra little bit of uh, adhesion to the base. These sometimes, for me, are a little bit big, so what I'll do is I'll just cut them with a, a knife to pull them apart a little bit, and you kind of end up with a slightly more random kind of shape. Pick it up with the tweezers there. Blob it into the basing glue. Get plenty of basing glue on there don't worry about it too much because the basing glue if it goes over because it, it dries um, clear anyway and kind of just poke it onto your base there and we'll do cut another one here and we'll put one of those there that's the same i'm just going to do this again so with a little pair of tweezers Blob bit of basing glue on it. We'll roll it round. We'll have that one just sticking this side. Just adds a bit of irregularity to it. Uh, and maybe put this one. I mean, you don't want to overdo it, obviously. Well, unless you want a character or a figure that's sort of creeping through the grass or the undergrowth. There. Pump, pump, pump. There, that'll do. So. You can see that thing now is on the base and it's the base has really sort of made it finish the figure off i think hopefully you can see that there let's get a bit closer there okay i'm going to post some photos of this up onto um, tabletop heroes facebook page as well so the next stage is we're going to leave this to dry so this glue uh, glue goes rock hard i'm then going to varnish the whole thing over with a matte varnish to give it some protection and uh the eye there uh in this particular figure what i'm probably going to do is put some gloss varnish in that just to make it look a little bit shiny so there you go quick and easy using the ready base system available from tabletop heroes uh just check it out on the website www.tabletopheroes.co.uk keep an eye out on the facebook page and don't forget to visit the website and subscribe to the newsletters. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Pop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them if I can. Happy gaming and happy painting. Take care.